Hi there! In this new episode of the Learn SAP in 5 minutes series, we will create together our first characteristic. Let's now see how to manage a characteristic within SAP. First, you will have to use the transaction code CT04 in order to manage it. The first field here is the characteristic code. Once entered, you will be able to display the characteristic, change the characteristic, create the characteristic if this one doesn't exist in the system yet, and finally, you will also be able to delete the characteristic. Create our first characteristic together. The first thing you have to do here is to enter the code of the characteristic. Let's suppose here equip underscore supply underscore power in order to be able to insert a specific value which is the power supply of the equipment. Let's create it by clicking on the button create and then SAP will display you all the related and relevant fields that you will have to maintain in order to give some information about your characteristic. These values are arranged according to several tabs. First, you have the basic data tab. In this tab, you will first need to enter the description of your characteristic. Suppose in our example, power supply equipment. Then you will also be able to enter or to assign a specific characteristic group. You will also need to maintain the status of the characteristic. Indeed, you will only be able to use a characteristic which has the status released. Overrise for both remaining statuses in preparation and locked, you will not be able to use it in the future. If you need to maintain authorizations for your characteristic in order to avoid changes about this one, you will be able to use the authorization group field right here. Then you have an over part in the basic data tab, which is the format of your characteristic. Let me interrupt you five seconds. If you are interested in our content, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and activate the bell in order to be notified each time we will publish a new training video in SAP. And let's suppose that in our case, the characteristic is on the numeric format data type. Overrise, you will also be able to select additional data types like character format, currency format, date format, and finally time format. Let's select the numeric format. After choosing the numeric format, you will have to enter the number of characters. Let's suppose three, the decimal places, let's suppose zero, and the unit of measure. Let's enter the volt. So let's find it, V, and we will select the unit of measure V for volt. Double click on it. Then you have the value assignment part. This is really also important because by choosing one of these radio button, you will be able to indicate to SAP if this characteristic will be only for one single value or if you will be able to assign several values. If it's only for one single value, then you will have to check this radio button. Overrise for multiple values assignment, just select the second radio button. Let's jump now into the second tab, Description. In this table, you will be able to add the description of your characteristic in different languages. 
By default, you have the description of your characteristic you entered in the basic data tab in the logon uh, language you used. In my case, it was by default in English. So I have as a default entry here the English language with this description. And you will be able to add, for example, in German, here also the description of the characteristic. And for sure, according to your need, you will be able to add as description and headings languages you need. Then let's speak about the values. In this tab, you will be able to specify to ASAP which are the values that this characteristic can be imputed for. For example, if you would like to predefine some values, for example, 120 volts, maybe 240 volts, and so on, if you don't want to make this choice totally free for the user, then you will define predefined values and you will enter them here in this table. And afterward, the user will be able to select one of these values when he would like to set a value for this characteristic. Finally, let's move on the next tab, additional data, where one part is really interesting. It's the document part here, where you will be able to assign a specific SAP DMS document management system document for your characteristic. Let's suppose you have some technical plan or some technical instructions from the manufacturer and so on. Then you will be able to assign this specific document if it is stored in the SAP DMS database. And then you will also be with this feature able to manage the version, the document type, document part, and so on. So this is also a real interesting feature that you can manage in your characteristic. Once all the fields completed, you just have to press the save button in order to create your characteristic. In our case, you can see in the status bar that our characteristic equip supply power is now created in the system. Thanks to you for watching this video. Don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel if you like our content and to visit our website to know more about SAP. See you soon!